Hey everybody, welcome. We're going back to Hooker's Boomerang today. Here's the crew. We got the Q Factor, Quinter, we got Talon, my boy's boy, Kukka's my brother, and Mr. Tom Hooker himself, the man. He's the originator of this, of this loop. And uh, we rode from Harriman on over here and it was raining like a bugger. And if you look out over there, you can still see it's raining like crazy. But over here, starting to clear up, you can see beautiful blue sky, a little bit of wispy clouds. We're thinking, you know, it might turn out pretty good because it won't be quite as dusty, we're hoping. So we're gonna go try to find the connection between Hooker's Boomerang and 12 mile. So that's the that's the goal of the day. So we're gonna all cruise out together. Started raining today and we lost about half our crew. Uh, the dirty Italian ended up wanting to sleep in. I'm gonna give him give him a rash of crap for that. Uh, Mr. Rojo Neck had to work graveyard last night, so he's out. Uh, Ty Ty Kirkham bailed out because of the rain. Uh, Toddy Boy bailed out because of the rain. <laughs> I'm going to tease them all. And uh, Mr. Everide was trying to work his way up from St. George last night, but I don't think he made it. Um, I'm guessing he didn't make it, or he's just probably exhausted trying to get up during the night, but uh, check it out. We're going to go ahead straight due south, about eight miles, and then we're going to start working our way over those mountains over there. So I'm going to turn the camera off for a bit while we just ride on the road, and we'll pick it back up at Hooker's Boomerang. Party out. Hey, everybody. I uh, decided to turn the camera on for a minute. We're just uh, heading south on, uh, I don't know, they call it Saratoga Springs Road or something like that. We're heading south on Redwood, basically. Uh, what I wanted to do is just kind of pan out to the left here for a minute. You can see this is the uh, what we call Utah Lake. And uh, on the other side, you got the mountains, Timpanogos. And it's really quite beautiful. And uh, frankly, the rain has stopped and it's just kind of overcast it's not hot but it's not cold it's just like almost a perfect temperature and uh, we're about uh, five and a half miles south of lehigh crossings and we're going down to uh, about mile marker 16 which is about eight miles south of of uh, lehigh crossing so that's where our trailhead's going to be but i just wanted to kind of turn the camera on the sun's starting to come up now and uh, it's looking like it's going to be a beautiful day. So I'm Jones and that my other buddies weren't able to come today for different reasons, but respect it. But uh, check out Utah Lake. We're on the west side of it. I'm going to turn you off for a little bit so we get to Hooker's Boomerang. And uh, then we got some killer fun single track riding there. So it's going to be great fun. Not terribly difficult. I got my boy on uh, Peggy. He's going to give a run at it today, so we're going to have a good old time. So here's the beginning of Hooker's Boomerang here. We got the rides of the day. Aprilia 650 Pegaso Cube. The Venerable La Fonda. KTM 990 Adventure. And my buddy Hooker, his new ride, the Ally Ever Ride, the Venerable DRZ 400. Aaron down. And over here, we have my Cuckas, my brother. He goes by El Kakui. The venerable CRF 450R. He and I had identical race bikes. Mine went the way of the world. He still got his. He does have some serious 
uh, gear, suspension tuning, custom revalving, motocross track go faster, sticker. <laughs> and his boy who rides an arm, whoop, an RMZ 250, ready to rock and roll. Here out to the west, we got Utah Lake. We're now down on the south end of the lake, as you can see. The clouds have dissipated, there's no rain. Still dry as a bone out here. But hopefully it'll be a little bit better with having some rain pass through the night. And uh, we're gonna head up this little trail right here, get into some single track. We'll eventually make it up over the top of that mountain and head to the Proving Grounds. So stay tuned everybody. We'll light her back up when we get to the single track, baby. Old Q Factor's gonna work over Peggy today on the old single track stuff. So on we go. Okay everybody, uh, we got a lot of loud noise for some big old bikes here. Um, got my brother, my nephew, got uh, the Q Factor behind me, and uh, we're getting ready to go do a little riding here. So uh, apparently I'm leading the pack. Make sure everybody's coming. That way um, I don't have as much dust to deal with. Okay, they're coming. Now I've geared this thing down, so that should be a little bit better to, to deal with here. We'll just see. Last time I didn't turn my camera on. I missed a lot of the single track stuff, which was too bad. I've got it on now, so here we go. The beginning of Hooker's Boomerang. We got some people camping right here. I try not to wake them up too much, but holy cow, they cramped right in the freaking middle of the Right in the middle of the freaking trail. It's crazy. Q factors behind me and He crashed. <laughs> I'll leave LaFonda here for a minute. <laughs> He's tough kid. He'll get her. He's got it. Had to make a left at the camper. What? Sharp left at the camper. Oh. You missed it. Crap. Where does this go? No idea. <laughs> I screwed up.